I'm following Charlie. As soon as it gets flat enough, I'll unload. Or he'll unload into me, excuse me. And hopefully I'll be able to turn around and get Skip here too. Once he puts out his spout, you'll see how low I would have to be. That's about 10 feet off the ground. Now he's leveling over to the right. He's tipping out so I can pull up under him. I'm just gonna go around that spout because I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I would be able to hit that with my exhaust for sure. So I'm gonna go up and around and then get in front of it and then unload. It's not much of a hill. It's a hill. Gleaner's over there going along. I imagine the line he doesn't want to go much steeper on. Yeah, the Gleaner does a pretty good job on the side hill. It's lighter, it's lower to the ground, it's smaller. This field here went 129 a couple years ago. I don't think it'll be 129 this year, but it'll be something good. sent me these and they want me to sell them on the internet so i'm like billy mays now aren't you amazed i'm like billy mays this is my belly Charlie after they go through this dip right here. Once they make it through the ditch, that's when they can get me. Yeah, Trevor, you or David, there's 45 minutes till lunch, so I think you're good. Good to go, right, Greg? 10-4, he's good to go to the elevator. Right. The wheat's really thick down in here. That's for sure. He's got to go up this hill. This looks really cool. It's 120 bushels of the acre wheat. Skip to Charlie. 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 Skip to Charlie.
Yeah, yeah. Okay. This top line might just be my 